What's going on YouTube? Apex Gaming here, and today I wanted to talk about the Monster Hunter Double Cross demo that has just dropped earlier today. Um, I wanted to start actually covering all the weapons and the styles and some of the changes and tweaks that have happened to uh, some of the weapons. And today, I just wanted to talk about the Charge Blade and all of the styles and stuff. So let's dig into it right now. So the first few styles I want to talk about will be Guild, Striker, and Adept Style. Just due to the fact that not much has really changed about them in terms of attacks, so there's nothing really to discuss about them. But all styles did get a buff in terms of KO. The Ultra Slam is back. One well-placed headshot will KO the monster, versus in Cross and Generations, if you were to do a Ultra, it just would not KO the monster, and it was just also really lacking in terms of damage. It was basically just a waste of files, and you're better off doing the Super Slams. Um, I also noticed that the Ultra Slam, if you were to just slam it on a um, body part, it would cause the monster to flinch and to fall over. So um, honestly, I feel like it's almost like the glory days of uh, 4 Ultimate. It's just missing the shockwaves. But um, overall, I'm so glad that it did get a good buff in KO. Out of the 4 original styles, Ariel was the one that got a change. Um, it's sort of debatable if it was for the best or for the worst. I'm not exactly sure, but I know people that use Ariel style are definitely going to notice this. Um, for Ariel style, they removed the ability to do the super slams. I'm not sure if this is because the ultra slam got a buff in terms of damage and KO, so they didn't want to make it, um, you know, super abusable. I'm not exactly sure. But I guess it's definitely going to feel um, different and it's probably going to take some time to get used to it. You're still able to do the uh, mid-air chop, but you can't do supers. Um, now, I sort of have a theory. I'm not exactly sure if it's going to be you know, correct or whatnot, but I feel like element files with the Ultra Slam are going to become pretty powerful depending on the monster. Um, Especially if you stack it with the uh, skill load up, you'll be able to just quickly, you know, just charge up your files and just continue to just rain down Ultra Slams. So I feel like, um, in a way, for some people, Aerial Style is going to be the bee's knees, and for other, it's just going to feel too foreign, and they're probably just going to pick up a different style. So now, finally, we're going to talk about the two new styles. First, we'll start off with my favorite, and probably in my opinion, the most technical, Brave Style. So when you use Brave Style for the first time, you're going to feel very conflicted as a lot of moves have been removed. For example, in Sword and Shield mode, you won't be able to do the uh, charge attack which easily fills up your files. You won't be able to go into Axe mode as easily because they are basically forcing you to utilize the Brave Charge. When you do the Brave Charge, you will be able to do those two attacks but, you know, there's just that slight delay in charging. I honestly feel like there's a lot of potential to this style, and I feel like um, you're going to see a ton of speedruns with it. The only negative, in my opinion, is just getting that Brave meter filled up to where you can actually unlock the full potential of Brave Charge Blade. If you do not have Brave Mode activated, and if you are in Axe Mode, you will not be able to uh, charge your Charge Blade into the Red Shield Mode. But, once you get your Charge Blade into Brave Mode, you gain the Blue Shield. And I have to tell you, the KO power in Brave Mode is even stronger than all five other hunting styles. One Super, as shown earlier, will instantly knock out the monster in one well-placed headshot. It's absolutely insane, the KO power that it has. And once you are in Brave Mode, you will be able to do all the other attacks you weren't able to previously. So basically, it's just a race to get to Brave Mode so you can unlock the full potential of the Charge Blade. Another awesome feature in Brave Mode Charge Blade is the ability to do dashing guard points. It sort of feels like Demon Mode in Dual Blades, but this just has more potential as you're able to apply impact damage on monsters that just throw their face at you like Diablos. The Axe Mode is also really mobile as well, and it doesn't feel, um, you know, strict and slow as all the other styles. Um, I'm overall just really impressed with Brave Style. Um, it's just the only drawback is trying to build up that meter, in my opinion. 
Um, I also noticed for uh, Sorted Shield mode, the Shield Thrust attack seems to do a lot more damage. The file explosions are not only bigger, but from um, several attacks and some uh, Shield Thrusts, I was able to easily knock over some monsters like the Bear Off and the Berry Off. So, um, basically, Brave Mode Charge Blade is just a powerhouse, but requires precision timing with a lot of attacks. And at last, the Alchemy Style. This is probably the most talked about and most hyped style in Monster Hunter Double Cross, and for good reason too. It is very unique, and at first it's a little bit of uh, challenging to learn. Um, when I was recording all these clips, I really didn't have um, much knowledge on the style. Um, I basically just used it as a barrel bomb bazooka because the dunking potential is amazing with that feature. Um, a lot of moves have been swapped around and altered for Alchemy Charge Blade, so we'll go ahead and talk about that right now. So first things first, you lose two attacks in Sword and Shield mode. Well, technically you lose one, and another one gets sort of tweaked or modified. Um, you lose the Shield Thrust attack, but instead you go straight into the uh, Shield Charging animation with XA. Uh, for some people, they may not like it, but for me personally, I think it's really helpful, especially in situations where your shield charge is about to expire and you can just easily just refill it quickly as possible. I think the whole thing just takes like not even two seconds. So um, honestly, I feel like it's going to be really helpful for this uh, style. The attack that gets modified is going to be the charge attack or when you hold down A. In previous games, when you hold down A, your, your uh, hunter goes into a position where he's able to do two attacks which quickly fill up the files. And um, if you hold A long enough, it sort of gives you a delay. And for some people, that's really helpful because, you know, it's sort of just based on a timing thing. But with Alchemy Style, they just get rid of that delay and so you have to make sure that you know that you're going to be able to, um, you know, get both swings on the monster. So. Um, it just be requires more precision and timing, if anything. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I plan to do all the other weapons. I'm going to try and do it, uh, drop a video on each weapon at least uh, every three days or so. I'm not exactly sure. It just depends on how busy I am. But um, in the meantime, I'm just going to be enjoying all the weapons and try to learn more about alchemy and brave style. So. Um, future videos will be even more informative than this one. But um, as always guys, happy hunting and I hope you enjoy Monster Hunter Double Cross.